Welcome to LT Outdoors. The sun is coming up, the fiber's going down. Fish are all abiting and jumping all around. They took up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors. I'm talking LT Outdoors. You never know where the adventures might go. Could be hunting, fishing, or metal detecting. Might even do a little forging too. I'm talking LT Outdoors. I hope you enjoy the show. Alright guys, today we are in the M65 Bait Shop 2 here in Aw Gray. And we are actually visiting the Bandit King of the North. What's your name sir? Exactly. What is it? Ed oh, Ed Beckley. Okay. Yep, here with Ed Beckley and Augray. And check out all these bandits. He's got all these custom lures here. All the colors you could possibly want. I mean, he's got a lot of tackle here, guys. Definitely happy we stopped in because there was no bait stores open this morning. I was actually kind of bummed. Wellman's was closed. Bait Party was closed. But Ed was open for us, so... Yep, we're going to be heading out today in Aw Gray here. Going to give her a shot and see what happens. So thank you very much, Ed. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today I'm out here with my buddy Jay. We're doing some fishing here. Today we are actually on the Aw Gray River. This is something that I've never done. I've drove over it a million times. And uh, I've always wondered what was in here. And as you'll see on this video, you'll see what was in here. It's actually a lot of fun, and we'll probably be coming back. Um, actually, me and Uncle Dale might be coming here this weekend um, to have some fun and see if we can get into some bigger fish. But uh, we're actually going to be packing up here in a minute, so you'll see what we get in here. But we're going to actually head to another spot on Saginaw Bay, and we're actually going to see if we can get into some white fish. So that is something oh, you don't yeah. see too often. They are excellent eating and a lot of fun to catch, so that's what we're going to target. So... Yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think. Oh, boy. Not a baby either. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you spit it. It's all right, go get him. This was actually my top dog the other day on this on the Saginaw. Oh, there's an itty bitty guy. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. No, oh, and he got my minnow head. He hit it real fast. I don't think he's very big, but he's feisty. Yay! <laughs> First one of the day. I'll take it. Just like Saginaw River. <laughs> Except not even half as far. Oh, <laughs> 
he wanted it. Sure looked big for a minute. God, he nailed it. He wasn't playing no games. No. <laughs> Mess me up with my perch, buddy. He was as big as you. They sure are pretty. That looks like a nice one. Clown jig and wrap. That looked like a nice perch. I don't know if it is or not. <laughs> yeah. You just lost a fish. I'm gonna keep that perch. Son He's at least God. at least a seven. Oh, do it again. Walleye or I don't know. feisty, whatever's hitting you. Yeah. Well, where are you fishing at? Top secret location in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he came for you fast, dude. Oh, come on, come on. It's just a little river south of us. Oh, okay. Hey, he's got one. Just a little feller. Little guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for Hey! Finally! Finally! <laughs> Jimmy A. Carter yeah, buddy. Little boy. Still counts. <laughs> hey! That's the biggest one yet. Hey, hey, hey. That's what we're talking about. I wonder how big he is. Definitely not 13. No. Please don't bite me. Yeah, he's probably 11, yeah. maybe 12, but that's, yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about. What you using there? Uh, just a little pink and white, like a spoon. Spoon, huh? Yeah, but you got it figured out now. I got the color. Yep, that's all it took. <laughs> that Aww. is the smallest wall I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, smallest one yet. We caught a lot like that down in Saginaw. Look at that little guy. That's a fish tanker. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad it's not a pike. I named him Pike Tyson. Yeah, Pike Tyson. <laughs> Double, pretty much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine ain't much bigger. I think my minnow head's seen it. It's better days. Oh, yeah, it has. They, they must be turning on. I sure hope so. Look at teeth. Swim down, buddy. He says, where's the hole at? You know. You see the porch? Yep. <laughs> First perch of the day. Little fella. Dude, he, he flew for it. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> How did I miss that? Everybody, me and Jay decided to head out. Like I said in the video, we are out now on the Saginaw Bay. Uh, we decided to head out to a part. Um, my buddy there at the on M65, M65 bait, bait shop two. two, yeah, 
um, Ed Beckley, he decided uh, he gave us some good tips on where to go for some white fish. Um, we've had some come through, so I got some good footage of that. We're going to stick it out till later, and hopefully some walleyes come in, because, you know, Saginaw Bay is well known for that. So hopefully something happens, but if not, you know, all just a new experience for both of us. So, yeah, definitely always cool to share that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Make sure if you haven't already, you hit that subscribe button. Well, mid-February can be one of the toughest times of the year to fish, especially through the ice. Um, as you can see today, we sat out here on Saginaw Bay for, gosh, we were out for probably five hours. And we did get to watch a lot of these beautiful whitefish come through, which it was just fun to watch them mill about in the rocks, you know, hunting for their, uh, they're, they're kind of foraging for their bait and, and food food sources in these rocks. So it's, it was very neat to watch them go around, but we couldn't get any to bite. That was fine, though. I mean, it would have been cool to catch some, but at the same time, it was just a blast watching them come through and getting to see how they react and, and how they're hunting for their food. So... I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, we don't end up catching one, which was a shame, but um, we do have a couple get close up to the camera, and it was just really fun to watch these fish. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, let me know what you think, and please share. As you can see guys, this here is uh, one of the moonshine baits. I'll show a picture of it when we're all done, but that's what they look like when they're all glowed up. Um, very cool lure. It's a lot like the jig and wrap, but uh, as you can see, they got an insane glow paint on them. LT Outdoors is brought to you by Widowmaker Lures, quality tungsten jigs. Cowboy Coffee Chew, a cup and a pinch. Northland Fishing Tackle, check them out online for a huge selection of lures. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. Crooked Bend, quality food plot mixes. Drake Clothing Company, quality outdoor clothing. And Heavy Metal Custom Lures, awesome jigs and a great selection of plastics. And don't forget about Shelly Shirt Shack where all the LT Outdoors merchandise is made.